What? Will they make our food? I'm like, what? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are in Paris today, and I'm not quite sure what the day has in store for us. I know there's a few things we wanna do today, but uh, we're not quite sure what's gonna be possible. So today's gonna be one of those surprise days. We thought we were gonna go to the Museum of Magic, and I grew up as a magician, so that sounded really cool to me, but they're only open on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays or something. So that's out for today. At this point, I think we're gonna take a walk to Notre Dame and just really enjoy the city. We'll see what happens. We're gonna explore, not look at a map, not go in. We're not even gonna look at a map? No. I think we'll probably look at a map. It's a big city, you'll get lost. I know, we'll get lost. Your plan is to get lost? Yeah. How do you feel about that, Duncan? Uh, Bad? Don't make him nod. This is the Sand River. Okay, that's Notre Dame. I think that's where we're gonna go right now. That's our current plan. So on the back of the Notre Dame Cathedral, they put these like fun play structures here and the kids found this one. This is my favorite. <laughs> it spins around. So the reason we made the special trip to this location is because they have gluten-free crepes for Bailey and their crepes are very well reviewed. They look amazing. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Wow. Wow. I, I will get caramel and butter and Nutella and Which those are little mine? candy things and those little candy things. <laughs> so everything. You'd get and, everything. And, 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 and uh, apples. apples. And um, I mean, the no, not apples. How beautiful is Bananas this? Bananas and strawberries. If you're in Paris, check out Culture Crepes. I think it's, <laughs> it's really embarrassing. Culture Crepes. <laughs> Quelle pronunciation? Uh, Culture Crepes? Non. Uh, votre nom? Uh, Culture Crepes. Culture Crepes. Yeah. Culture Crepes. Pretty good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Merci. Really good. Yeah, they look amazing. I'm about to have one. So it's written underneath it if it has gluten or or anything else that we need to avoid. So that's gluten and then gluten and then gluten and then that's it. There's only three things to do. So we asked if we could use a bathroom or if they knew where a bathroom was nearby, and they opened up a thing in the ground and there were stairs going underneath to a bathroom. <laughs> it's so amazing. So, we're downstairs. The bathroom's right there. This is just for in your crepe store. It's really cool. And look at how awesome this downstairs is. It has a refrigerator, a ladder, all this cooking stuff. And like, it's so cool. And back here, they have jam and wine and that stuff. 
and it's just so cool. I can't, it's, I think they have sparkling water here and you shouldn't touch it. And they have eggs. And look at how awesome these stairs are. Like, that's where we were stepping on. And I'm like, that's where we're, de and that's where they make our food. I'm like, what? Yes. <laughs> it's awesome. It's like awesome. Wow. The ceilings down here are so neat. We're stepping on the bathroom. <laughs> this is so neat. There's mine. It's so really? hard to cut. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that was a big bite. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> First bite. Oh. Oh man, that was really good. <laughs> First bite. Oh. <laughs> nice. Really <laughs> living her dreams. Lemon, honey, and banana. Parker, what do you have? Um, a grape, flower, chocolate, whipped cream, strawberries. How is it? It's good. How is it, Chef Jacob? I have a, I have a crepe. The butter is eggs, milk, tiny bit of vanilla, Nutella, chantilly, and strawberries. And, how about, and what do you think about chantilly? This is the best sweet crepe that I've ever had. Whip up, doggy. They just found the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's kind of far away right now, but we'll we'll go to it soon. I'm not sure if it'll be today or tomorrow, but we're we're planning on being there. Do you need a nap? He just needs a mommy. Mommy cuddles. Oh. Uh... We decided to walk on the close side of the Seine. The roads are up on one level where all the bridges are, and then there's like a walkway that you can go on that's down below. And we went under this bridge, and they had foosball. So of course the kids had to play foosball. And it's kind of weird, it's like, they just ask for any object, and then they give you a ball, and then when you're done playing, you give them the ball, and they give you the object. That's your deposit, it's just any object. So like, they showed us somebody gave them gum, we gave them a shirt that we had just bought, and apparently we get it back when we're done. And Jessica and I are just sitting at a table, hanging out with Duncan, right on the sand. Horses! Did you see a horse? Yeah, there it's over there. Good job. So when everybody asks me what my favorite part of this whole trip was, it's this moment right now. It's right here on the sun. It's beautiful. Seeing everybody play and how unexpected it was to find these foosball tables just down here for people to just have joy in their day and for kids to play. This is just so special. It's wonderful. This is like my dream for parents just places like this where parents can have, like find peace in their day but still have the kids really having a wonderful time it's my favorite switch to this side now so you can see what I'm seeing on this side but I definitely had a moment of oh we should move here now the simplicity of finding a foosball table zone under a bridge is what makes me want to move places <laughs> Oh, there are a lot of grapes too, so. And now we found a casual climbing wall. And here's a place that's all set up to play board games. I don't know what's going on, if this is like a festival or a normal thing here, but it's pretty cool.
kids are in this giant cage with, with a bunch of French kids, and they're all speaking French, and they're trying to set up a game of soccer or football. And uh, it's very interesting watching our kids try and grasp what they're saying, because they're setting up teams, they're trying to figure it all out, figure out the, like, the game they're about to play. But they're speaking in French. Our kids seem to understand. They're grabbing our kids a lot and moving them around to where they're supposed to be. I don't know. I think there's one kid in there that kind of speaks English and he's sort of translating. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Parker doesn't understand at all. Jacob's acting like he understands and Bailey, I think, just doesn't care. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that Parker's plan for Paris is to get lost. We learned if Bailey could choose any ingredients to put on her crepe, she'd choose all of them. And finally we learned what it takes to get Jessica to move internationally. A foosball table under a bridge. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs> this is the land of Paris, the Eiffel Tower. Da 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 da! And we're here in Paris. See? We're here in Paris. We're here in Paris.